Uh, Rainer Halama from the uh, uh, Uzi Wuselik from the German Wikipedia. And I'm a Kulturbotschafter. Kulturbotschafter, okay, what is that? Uh, it's a funny name. Uh, too fast. Uh, Kulturbotschafter is somebody who works in culture, culture of Germany, uh, um, civilization is in some countries synonymous with culture. So I just put on the Wikidata items uh, so you can look it up in your own language what we're talking about. It's also like, it's uh, and the Botschafter part is the ambassador or an envoy, um, and we're working in Glam. But it's like Shakespeare said, what's in the name? Uh, but if it is rose, you know, you can name it by it smells, it smells as good by, if it's called by any other name. So let's talk about the concept and not about the name. If you like the concept, you can still find a better name in an international context. Okay, so what is the need for this? I tried to uh, picture the, our Wikiverse and the universe, uh, universe uh, verse we're working in, we have institutions, we have the whole world, we want to have the sum of all knowledge, we have uh, our Wikiverse on top and we have the foundation and chapter on the top and on the bottom and we have some individual user there who is trying to negotiate uh, in this uh, big metaverse, uh, if you want to call it that way. But the problem is, uh, even if I might be considered by some from my community or not as a big shot, if I try to reach some institution, I'm with just a small little thing smaller than perhaps any of those people down below. On the other hand, the people down below and even the people in institutions, when they think about the, uh, Wikipedia, all they see is a, a wiki page that might pop up uh, when they made a, a Google search. That's all they know about Wikipedia. <laughs> and so, and if they, if they try to uh, get into the Wikiverse, they see individuals with funny usernames, unknown expertise, uh, the whole funny thing, mediocrity, it's a close community to them, even though we try to be open. But to them, we're still closed. And if we approach an institution, we also we are uh, faced with experts. There's a hierarchy in those institutions. So whom do we approach? You have uh, departments there. You have public relations, social media. You have uh, people who are working in research and science. So yeah, how do these worlds uh, get together? So. We, I would call, I, I call it a kind of triangle of communication and you had the question marks that are between us, uh, I already pointed those out. And uh, if you have the institutions, when they try to approach anybody from uh, Wikipedia or Wikimedia because, as they know it, um, they would like to do that on an eye to eye level. In other words, they prefer to uh, have somebody who has a postal address, an email address, a telephone number to reach to. And that is, of course, usually, uh, in my case, in Germany, it is uh, Wikimedia Deutschland. That's the one they would let, try to, to approach. Now, Wikimedia Deutschland, on the one hand, says, uh, but we are not doing any content uh, intervention. You know, I mean, that is uh, the thing of the uh, volunteers and the users. So in other words, uh, we are going to have to find somebody in the community to uh, do those things that the institutions actually want to have done. Uh, and of course, yes, uh, I as a, 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 uh, as a normal user, I get support, have had the in in uh, infrastructure. And if I want to approach uh, the institution in the name of Wikipedia, uh, they are also the trademark owners. So uh, in the community, there was uh, this, this uh, wish that we create some person who is somehow endorsed by the community, but also by uh, the foundation to be able to approach uh, these institutions and act as an intermediary uh, to these institu institutions. And uh, of course, the um, 
chapter was also interested in that they not, not anybody could just do that and call themselves that because uh, uh, yeah there might be uh, users who are banned for some reason or yeah so they wanted to have a say okay who's going to go out and call themselves Kulturbotschafter so what do we have uh, the Kultur the Kulturbotschafter uh, should be part of the community he should know the community, he should know the projects. Ideally, he should be active, or he or she, sorry about gendering, <laughs> uh, but uh, it's, uh, uh, that, let's say, okay, in English it's they. Okay, they should be uh, uh, known the project, they should be more, in more project. they should be willing to commit themselves uh, for a longer period, in other words, not just I have, a, I have one project and in that project I'm going to be active. Um, no, I should be able to be called on by uh, either the foundation or the institution if they want to cooperate with us. And then I should also, and that's the next thing, uh, op be open to challenges even in fields beyond my own uh, uh, usual interest. If I'm interested in medieval art and someone is suddenly in a museum with impressionisms come up, okay, I should also uh, get dig in, in, into those subjects. And uh, willing to learn, yes, also new techniques and features, yeah. Uh, um, upload wizards, not upload wizards, but new upload tools, mass upload tools and things like that get involved uh, like this. I should also uh, learn about something about the legal background. I should try to find out how these institutions work and uh, uh, work together and uh, I should know the networking uh, associations of these museums to perhaps you know also do some work in the background um, yes and as I said be uh, before I need to have the backing of the community and of the chapter nope yeah, so what the Kulturbotschafter isn't, I'm not some kind of super Wikimedian. There was some op uh, opposition also from the community that uh, they didn't want to have, uh, we, we don't need such Kulturbotschafter because they are just going to be some big shots, they're going to get all the money, all the, fa all the, all the funding, uh, they take that for, uh, for away from us. No, we're not doing that. Um, and we're also not in there just for the uh, fancy title. Uh, and it is for some perhaps uh, similar to the um, Wikipedian in residence, but the difference is I'm not working for some, spe or working with or inside some specific institutions, but I'm open to different uh, institutions. And uh, it's also, there, there's no employment part in it. I'm, I'm, I'm still a volunteer uh, and uh, it's not any kind of part-time work or anything like that. Um, but when we uh, contact in specific institutions, of course we do things that also Wikipedia in, in residence would do. We try to empower the people in those uh, institutions to become part of uh, the Wikimedia. They, we, we try to show them how to do comments, how to show them how to edit, uh, and also uh, show them the constraints, for instance, about uh, paid editing. I mean, they are, as, as uh, somebody in the institution, they are paid uh, 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 people, uh, they have their salary, and uh, uh, they actually edit uh, uh, as an uh, uh, employed person from the, uh, from the institution. That's not very well looked upon uh, in Germany. So we have to tell them, you know, the do's and don'ts, what they are able to uh, uh, do and not do. Yes, and uh, I didn't make a nice uh, sign off uh, thing, so only the thank you. Uh, in our last sessions, we uh, said, okay, well, we have 30 seconds left, we have a question and answer thing. Uh, then we stopped and the next session didn't take place. So, <laughs> is there a next session? Okay, then uh, I'm over and out, and uh, if you have questions, approach me and uh, answer me, uh, or I'll, I'll answer you outside, but now I'm going to give... Okay, so, any, any questions? 
Yes, sure. Yeah, over there. Um, how do you engage that people? Like, do you, as, as um, well, it's not you, but I mean, how, how do these people get engaged to, to this uh, responsibility at the end? Like, it's not a part-time job, but at the same time, it's a lot of No, as, as I said, it was a community initiative, but then it was, was more or less, uh, should it get the uh, uh, endorsement by the uh, chapter? And there was actually a very long uh, genesis of how we're going to create this. Uh, as I said, there was also opposition from the community that said, hey, we don't want that culture Botschafter because he's going to be some, you know, he's just going to be there for the name. And uh, hey, uh, I want to do so. Uh, it took over a year uh, to actually get this more or less down. And um, there was a voting process at the beginning. And at the moment, we are only about uh, 10 people, uh, no woman at the moment, because you, you are also not allowed to be employed by the chapter. And this one woman we had, she went to Wikimedia Switzerland as employee. And at, at, at that moment, she was out. <laughs> And we meet uh, annual, uh, uh, not uh, on a monthly basis, on every 15th of the month at uh, five o'clock in the afternoon. So whether it's Monday, Sunday or whatever, uh, that is also because uh, as volunteers, uh, people have different commitments. They work in their jobs, they have evenings, they have sport clubs and so on. So you, we can't, if you, if you would put it down to one day, uh, somebody would be excluded every, uh, at every meeting. In this way, most of us uh, we usually come together. And so that's how we exchange ourselves amongst each other, what uh, projects are coming up and what we can do and uh, where we need somebody to move in. And as I said, the institutions approach the chapter and then the chapter approaches us. <laughs> Is that more or less? Yeah, good. <laughs> Anybody else? Yes. <laughs> I just thought of something. Hi, my name's Chris. I'm actually from Wikimedia Deutschland. Um, is this just for uh, Wikipedia or are there equivalents for other wiki projects? No, that's what I said. Um, um, we, are, uh, we, we help those institutions with Commons uploads, uh, with uh, Wikidata, um, Wikisource if you want. I mean, it's kind of like anything uh, that these institutions uh, could do within the uh, Wikiverse. And uh, of course, I'm an, I'm, 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 I myself, I'm not, I'm not a know-it-all, but usually I know people in the community that might be able to answer these specific questions. So that's also the reason why I said we, you, uh, this person should be a little bit embedded in the community and should more or less also know people in the community. So it's, it's a networking thing. You have to know where to go for your answers. <laughs> I, I might poke you for something later. <laughs> <laughs> Well, great. I was. <laughs> you were a creative, enthusiastic crowd that makes it happy to be here as a speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.